Most spiritual systems are mind-based and therefore have core beliefs. Because natural spirituality is not mind-based, it does not have beliefs, but instead has core experiences. In this short video, I'll be introducing you to those experiences. If you like this content and would like to see this channel grow, be sure to subscribe and like videos, as these actions help YouTube's algorithm make this channel's content available to a larger audience. Without further ado, here are the core experiences of natural spirituality. Core experience number one, flow. Practice, surrender. Being in flow comes about through knowledge and acceptance of our part in the collective drama we call life. When we can't accept our own truth or the truth of another, this is when we come out of flow and into the world of control. In a mind-dominated culture, our intellect becomes a dictator of our life, allowing no room for the truths of our body and emotions. Acceptance of our total truth brings us into flow, while denial and avoidance of things like our emotional reality fragments us and turns us into tyrants instead of co-creators with life. Core experience number two, naturalness, practice, presence. Once we've surrendered control of our life over to our heart, we begin to become natural instead of neurotic. In learning to be present to the truths found in our body and its sensations, we no longer fracture ourself by being at war with ourself. We learn how to be okay with our creaturehood. We learn how to embrace and express the natural needs and desires that our species shares. We learn how to become wholly human again. We learn how to become natural. Core experience number three, connection. Practice, trust. Who can we trust if we can't trust ourselves? When we finally and fully accept and surrender to our truth and our truth alone, this is when we begin to trust ourselves. By honoring our personal needs and wants, we learn that we can trust ourselves to take care of ourselves. This healthy relationship to self creates a feeling of connection to self. Once we've connected to ourself through surrendering to our own truth, we then have the capacity to connect with and accept the truth of another person and eventually the ultimate reality which some people call God. This ability to trust in the divine plan or ultimate truth and all the events and experiences that come with that plan create a sense of constant connection to the all. The Trinity of Wisdom and Harmony These three core experiences compose a living triad that make up natural spirituality. I call this triad the trinity of wisdom and harmony. It is the journey from mind-dominated living to a more balanced way of being that creates these experiences. When our body and spirit are allowed equal say with our mind, this is when we become integrated and come into balance. This is when we become naturally spiritual.